Drew, there are two types of collectors, right? There's these uh, flat panels and evacuated tubes. Can you talk a little bit about those? Yeah, I generally use a flat panel collector. I feel like there's less parts that can go wrong. Um, I just like the technology better. Uh, evacuated tubes seem to have a little bit of an advantage if you're way, way north, but when you're down south, uh, the flat plates seem to be equal or better than the evacuated tubes. Uh, the evacuated tubes you can put on a roof and they don't have to face dead south because they're circular, but the uh, flat plates, you know, we have them facing east and have them facing west and they produce plenty of hot water. So. Both, both technologies are not like PV where you have to face it dead south. Um, I prefer the flat plate collectors. Some people prefer the evacuated tubes. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the flat plate collectors. I think it's a, personally for me, I think it's a better technology. Now, does it matter if you have shade on the roof? Um, with solar hot water, the panel can be shaded a little bit at some times. Of course you want it to get as much sunlight as possible, but if you have a tree branch that goes over part of the panel at some point in the day, it's not nearly the, to the de detriment of the system as it is with photovoltaics. With PV, you can have no shade whatsoever. So what is a minimal configuration or minimal requirements for solar water in terms of how much sunlight they, re uh, it, they receive? Well, that's sort of a, something that you have to do through experience and, and, and it's more of a, uh, it's, there's not an exact science on that, you know, there's, a, there's programs that you can put your numbers in and it'll tell you exactly how much they want you to have for exactly how much power production. But really what you want to do is just try to make sure that they get as much sunlight as possible and if they don't or are having trouble with that, you might want to add another panel.